Islands. All right, I love it. Um, I've been doing this for almost two years now, not quite. Uh, the first time I had a show, I told some stupid ass drunk stories and it went really well. And I was like, oh, it's really funny. And the second time, it was over at Red Door Tavern, which is like 50 yards away from here. I went up on stage, I got my fucking ass kicked for a while. Like, I went over time, I didn't know what was going on. I hated myself, I wanted to blow my fucking brains out. But I was walking off stage, and this girl came up and said, Hey, just work on it, you can do this. I'm still fucking here today, because of the very, very Columbia famous, if you don't know her name, then go fuck yourself, Jen Snyder! Keep it going for my boy Joe, everybody. That's gonna be the name of my first comedy album. If you don't know my name, go fuck yourself. Yeah, all right. So, um, I just got back from the uh, Memphis Comedy Festival. Yeah, y'all, Memphis, what a fucking place. It's like hipster redneck. You know what I'm saying? It's like redneck that thinks it's better than you. Uh, it really does, man. Like everything, well, you know, they're a little bit better than us just in the sense that like not everything there has to be fucking camouflage. Like every fucking thing here has to be camouflage. Yo, why is everything camouflage? God damn. Like, camouflage fucking pajamas. That shit's not necessary. Like, these motherfuckers just like, nah, bro, I don't even want these deer to know I fucking sleep. I don't even want them to know. I mean, I could pop out of anywhere, bitch. Ah, kill you, little deer, little baby motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I bought these uh, Duck Dynasty jammies, because I am ever present and vigilant. Like, I don't get why, like, people. Fucking, okay, like guns. They have camouflage guns. That's not a good idea. They have, like, why is the trim on your F-150 camouflage? You know what I'm saying? Like, are there fucking deer out there just like, dude, is that a Chevy? Bro, I don't know. I can't see the trim. It could be any fucking thing coming at us, man. I don't fucking know. They, uh, they even have camouflage beer. Like, there's just some asshole out in the world that's, you know, with all this shit, and he just has to call his wife up like, Lily, you gotta come get me. Yes, it happened again. No, I can't find the truck. No, I can't find my gun. No, I can't find the goddamn beer. And no, I don't know where the hell Billy Bob is. He's probably drinking my fucking beer. Now, bitch, come pick me up. I'll be in a pile of leaves on Highway 24. <laughs> Cousins on that one. He gave me that little last clip. Uh, yeah. So that this is we're just they're just slightly better us in Memphis. And I went to this really cool bar in Memphis. It was exactly like this, only you could smoke. So that was like my fucking version of hell. And uh, I was sitting there, and there the bartender had this giant fucking snake tattoo on his face. Y'all, big ass fucking nasty snake tattoo. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, we all have personal choices. I have Krusty the Clown on my leg, okay? But I can put on some fucking pants. You know what I mean? Like, he just went to a tattoo shop and was just like, yeah, I'm not going to contribute anything worthwhile to society, so snake tattoo on the face, bro. It was either that or just get fuck tattooed right in the middle of my forehead. That way every morning I can wake up and be like, why the f*** did I do that? But anyways, I said, face tattoo and uh, they were doing karaoke and I heard this like old motherfucker like this grandpa motherfucker and I saw him walk into the door uh, he was hanging out with this woman at the bar who just reeked of whore and uh, she was actually at my show earlier so she came up to me she was like oh my god you're so funny like I hate how some women think that just cause I'm gay you showing up with a vagina qualifies you to ride this ride no no you skanky bitch but anyways her and grandpa were hanging out and Grandpa got up and he starts singing karaoke. And I know I'm showing my age here. Some of you kids might not know this song, but there's a Rolling Stones song. And it's like, uh, I've been crying all alone. I've been sleeping all alone. I miss you. Y'all know that song? Yeah. All right. Grandpa's up there singing that karaoke. And y'all, he was fucking getting it. Like, I've been crying all alone. I've been sleeping all alone. How's your hoo-ha? <laughs> Grandpa just asked how everybody's hula was, and I was like, oh fuck, this just got so real. And you know how you have those 
there's moments in life where you've been drinking a lot and you're like, did I just hear that shit? And I nudged my friend and I said, did I just hear that shit? And as soon as I did, he goes, hey, darling, let's play carnival. You sit on my face and guess how much you weigh. <laughs> and then so we both were cued in and we are like, no, I surely like this song because he's still singing. I've been crying alone, I've been sleeping on a hoo-ha. And I'm just like, oh, shit. So then the next thing he says, the final thing he says is, that's right, ladies, as long as I've got a face, you've always got a place to sit. I'll show hoo ha. <laughs> and I just like to think that this guy's whole life is like that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just calls up his grandkids. He's like, Katie, it's Grandpa. I'll show hoo ha. <laughs> oh, don't cry, darling. You know Grandpa loves you. Put your mom on the phone. Sarah, it's Daddy. How's your hoo uh, Also on my travels on the way home, I was driving back and we stopped this little country ass gas station and there was this motherfucker in this old beater ass cutlass and y'all, he had a fucking monkey in his car. He had a monkey and the monkey was like holding his little hands on the steering wheel like right there and I was like, oh my God, cause I'm five. So I just like whip out my phone and I'm like taking pictures and I'm like, fuck yeah monkey. And I can tell this motherfucker in this beater is like staring me down like, bitch don't take pictures of my fucking monkey. And I know, oh shit. I'm watching a monkey theft y'all. That ain't his fucking monkey. Nobody with a beater ass cutlass has got monkey money. You know what I'm saying? Okay.